Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of three Explorer ranked ladder with a five color legends list. Now this list is pure nonsense, just if you weren't like aware or able to see that for yourself. This is five color legends, but it's also multiple combo decks in one. We basically have four color legends from standard, so my favorite deck. Rona, Inti, Gurk, Relic, and Rusty with the Vile Smasher for your uh, one infinite combo. Then you have Grease Fang and Parhelion, which isn't an infinite combo, but it is a 13 damage on turn 3 that leaves two 4-4s four behind, so if your opponent doesn't have a way to deal with the threat of Grease Fang Parhelion, it can just kill your opponents out of nowhere. Especially if you hit him with a Gurk first, it's just kind of a one-shot kill in the end game. And this deck technically could have a third infinite combo if you wanted to go with Retraction Helix, Rona, Mox, Amber. Since this is just Explorer, we don't have access to Helix. If we were playing this in paper, maybe. Who knows, maybe we could make this into a three infinite combos list. So basically, the spice in this deck is Smuggler's Copter to help be able to drop off things like Chariot, Parhelion, or uh, you know any of our creatures to rebuy with Rusty, or lands to trigger Gurk, or even just random cards to trigger Inti. Plus, the Copter can be reanimated by Greasefang, of course. We also have three copies of Pillage of the Bog, since you usually have a decent amount of mana. Uh, this lets you look at like the top 6, 8, 10 cards of your library. And when you're playing a combo deck like this, sometimes you just need, like, a copy of the Dirge, or a Grease Fang, or a Parhelion to throw in the bin, so... This card can usually find what you want, sometimes for 2 mana, and sometimes for free. We are running this in a Yorian pile, because, I mean, look at this monstrosity. It is 80 cards, of course, um, and we did need the space to cram in the Grease Fang combo into the 4 color legends but it actually works like surprisingly well like rona into grease fang is just stupid because if you have the parhelion you drop it you play the grease you hit him for 13. rona into gurk still broken you discard lands you put counters on him rona into inti still broken you get extra cards through impulse draws i mean you see where i'm going with this this deck is very powerful and it's just two powerful decks crammed together. Now the mana might be a bit tough, we're running one of each basic, four Ota, four Takanuma, two Basayu, two Igonjos, four Confluence, four Plaza, and a handful of these uh, Capenna Trilands. But yeah, if you guys are excited to see this in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I'm still working on getting my channel partnered, so any support is greatly appreciated. I'm also going to leave a QR code here and a link down below to my TCG Player Partner card. Using the QR code or the link is a way to help support me and my channel, which is greatly appreciated. But with all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alright, game one. Definitely taking the play. Um... The hand looks... Fine. We'll keep it. Go ahead. Sure. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty solid. Let's play Inti and the Amber. Sure, we'll take two. No, no attacks. Interesting. I mean... I don't really see how the opponent beats this. We just put our Parhelion in the graveyard. And we will pass. Wait. What? 
that's fine. Let's go ahead and grease fang. definitely some damage, but not quite enough. Let's try it like that. Alright, game two. Definitely cannot keep that. Um, I mean... I don't really think we can keep this one. Yeah, that's better. Unfortunately, can't really cast the NT. Take three. Let's play the Rona. Oh boy. That is a lot of damage coming through. Mm, well, we need like either a white or a black land. Not it. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just like dead. <laughs> That's crazy just missed a single land drop and died. <laughs> I think we just run it back. All right, we will definitely take the play. Yeah, hand is very good. Go ahead. Make sure to uh Play that Mox Amber far before Thalia hits the field. And we'll go with Rona. Go ahead. Sure. Let's go ahead and loot. Let's go ahead and drop off the Takanuma. We can... Mm. Yeah, let's go with the Relic. And we'll buy Yorian. Go ahead and play Inti. And let's loot. Let's drop off the bar alien. <laughs> I mean, there's another, I guess. 
let's play a plaza. And let's go with Yorian. And we will pass from here. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty crazy. We have access to crazy amounts of mana here. We can loot to impulse, and we have a Takanuma to help dig further, maybe find like a Grease Fang or something. And we already have Parhelion in the grave, so... Yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, next game. Definitely taking the play. Um... Yeah, hand looks fine. We'll keep it. Let's get in. Guess we go with the Gurk here. And we will pass. Sure. Yep, and they take Skrelve. Kinda rude. Beanstalk Giant. Alright, so. Probably a Brazer combo, I'm assuming. Let's get in. Go ahead. Oh. Um. Well. <laughs> Thought I was going to be able to channel that. Let's go with Greasy Boy. Go ahead. Let's put you back in the hand. Let's dig over here. And I guess we channel and try and hit a Parhelion. Well, that is not a Parhelion. <laughs> Let's get in. And go ahead. Guy Ruda. I mean, yeah, that's fine. So, trigger on the stack. We'll bounce the Gurk. And bounce Gyruda. Well, thought they were just gonna copy stuff, so might have just lost myself the game there. Oops.
damn. Well, that was very close. Just, I played wrong. Which is tough. I mean, I, I was trying to play around uh, them hitting the, uh, the clone cards, but they just hit another guy, Ruda. <laughs> Let's try it like that. Alright, definitely taking the play. Hello? Did my game crash? Alright. Um... Yeah, we'll keep. One game crash later. <laughs> Let's start with Thoughtseize. Let's go with Inti. Go ahead. Let's jam. So, let's see, they can exile cards from graveyards, which like, isn't the greatest thing, but it's also not like we have um, any of the pieces we need. So let's just get in for seven here. Guess we play the Gurk. Go ahead. Sure. What would you like? Rusty? Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Well, too bad. <laughs> um, guess we just get in with everybody. Her. That's fine. And I'm assuming they just land Quint win, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, they didn't have it. <laughs> we'll take it. Let's run it like that. All right, next game. Uh, we will keep that.
Let's lead with Rona. Let's take a loot. Sure. And we'll go with Inti. Go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. Spark double. Interesting. You control. Did they just want it in the graveyard for Gyruda? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's go with the Relic. And Gurk. I mean, I definitely didn't have lethal, but I will take the victory there. I was just gonna plot a pillage the bog and leave open Basayu channel with Rona. GG's. I really can't believe we actually beat them in that second game. The first one we definitely punted, so feels pretty good to win. And a couple post-game thoughts for everybody. Uh, this deck is crazy. I mean, it, it's an idea I've had floating around in my head for months now. I've also wanted to try out Slogurk with Scape Shift and the Pinging Deserts. I'm not sure if that's like good. Probably not. It, it's probably going to be pretty bad, but I still want to try it eventually. But yeah, this deck is sweet. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.